Hello everybody, I was working on mixing my new album Dreamscape, more specifically the song One Man's Life, and uh, I came up with a bit of an EQ problem and I thought this might be a cool thing to do a quick video on for those of you that are newer to the world of mixing and working with equalizers and doing some troubleshooting. Um, I find that this trick works a lot in live applications. Uh, I've done some mixing in theaters uh, for plays and things like that, but, uh, but it also works in the studio. Uh, when you're live, obviously you have to find solutions very quickly. So having this kind of knowledge can be a little bit helpful. So uh, very specifically, uh, there's one thing that uh, I stumbled across and uh, I'll play it for you now. See if you can hear it and then we'll go through and we'll troubleshoot it. Okay, you may have heard it uh, if you're listening through headphones. You may have heard it a little more towards your left ear. If you're listening through uh, speakers, it might have been the left speaker. Um, and uh, I'm going to isolate it and I'm going to play, uh, play it back for you again so that you can get a more uh, specific idea of what I'm hearing. <laughs> Did you hear that really hideous frequency at the end there? Um, kind of uh, one of those things that if you have metal fillings, it might just kind of uh, make you feel like you licked aluminum foil. And we don't want that. We don't want our listeners to, uh, to hear that or to have any unpleasant sense when they're listening to our music, unless you're writing like horror music. This would work great there, but it's not what I wanted for this song. Uh, it didn't really fit at all. So I thought, well, I need to get rid of this. So since I know what channel it's on, I've isolated it to, uh, to track 50 here and I'll pull up the EQ. What we're going to do is we're going to watch for it visually and see if we can find it. Uh, if you are really good with EQs and frequencies, you probably know exactly where it is. But uh, this video is, is for a, a more beginner to intermediate and uh, who may not know where it is. So let's see if we can find it visually on the EQ. <laughs> Okay, pretty easy to see, right? It was right about, right about in this range here. So I'm just going to take the band that's closest to it because I'm not, uh, I'm not utilizing any of the other bands for anything, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try and isolate that and see if we can bring that sound down. Okay, that's not bad. That minimized it quite a bit. And we don't want to change the EQ too much here, so we might want to sharpen that up a little bit so that we're only canceling out that one frequency. Yeah, it's still there a little bit, but it's very, very minimized in comparison, and we can tighten that up a little more. If we needed to move the EQ, we could do that, you know, move it back and forth, and just really get it locked into place. And that's it. So let's hear it again. Uh, we'll go without the EQ first. Just awful. Much more minimized, much, uh, much more palatable to hear. And when you hear it all together, uh, it blends a lot better too. know to look for it uh, which obviously you do now in the song but you're you're not going to hear it um, it's just going to be blended in with the other instruments and you can you know you can do a little bit further EQing and and uh, you know dive in a little deeper but uh, actually I like this as it is because it has just a little touch of it there but it doesn't have uh, so much that it's really annoying so anyway that was just a quick EQ tip that I happened to stumble across and I thought I would share with you guys I hope that uh, those of you who are engineers are interested in audio found it helpful. Thanks guys. Enjoy. And uh, if I find another thing like this, I'll come back and let you know. Take care.